Well, hello and welcome to another Coffee with Quarto. And today we will be looking at something I've been playing around with um, because it has been, been bothering me that it is not that straightforward to use Quarto interactively when it's not on your machine, when we're working on a remote server, um, especially when it comes to making plots. I mean, it's easy enough to execute code there and see numbers, but when these plots are generated by default, for example, in R, Let's run this code here. We need a terminal first, right? So leader CR to open an R terminal. And then control enter execute our code here. It opens on my different screen over here. And it's well easy enough to, to use. You can move it around. I showed this in one of the last videos. And it's it's very fast, it's nice and easy to update. But well, if we are on a remote server, we can't just open Windows there, right? Um, so we want something more browser-based where we can navigate our web browser to and then get the results in our browser. So for this, the R package we are using is HTTP GD. I guess the GD stands for graphics device. Uh, you can just run and install packages HTTP GD or you go to the GitHub link. And I believe this is also the well, the graphical web server running in the background of the VS Code extension for R as well. Um, so the first thing I want to do, because I like it for plotting and data analysis, load the tidyverse, and then also I want to start the HTTP GD uh, graphics device. And I'm wrapping this in this if interactive thing, which you don't necessarily have to do, but I want this to only run when I am not rendering the quarter document using leader QP. In this case, I don't want it to, to run. I only want it to run when I'm using it directly. Oh, no, I'm, I've started rendering it. Stop it now. So I send to the terminal. And what we get here is this link. We can open it. And right now, there's nothing here. So let's create a plot. And we get it straight away. If we create more plots, we can navigate between those. And you see, in the first one, we are doing something by species and the second one we're doing something by island. I guess I could have chosen visually more different plots. Um, and now because this is running on in our, as a web server, we can also, if this is not running on, a, on our machine, what I would do is I would SSH to my remote server on which I have quarter running um, using like my username and the address for the server. And then I can forward a port to my local host. Uh, in this case, the port would be 44029. Um, if you want the same port every time inside of HGD, we can also specify, let's look at the documentation here, we can also specify the port. So we can also say here we want port 999. And GitHub Copilot thinks uh, that there should be an open argument false, but this is not the case. Um, so next time we run this, it would open on a different port. Let's actually do this now. Now this would be inactive. And we can go down here. And we see our server running. There we go. Failed port might be in use. I guess this is already used with some other, other thing that I'm running. Let's use a different one. Now we have a different server running on a different port. And then we can start sending plots to it again. And it should all work. So this is the case for R. And I think this works really well. So let's move over to if you are a Python user. Uh, let's actually close this here. Oh, and well, maybe one more thing um, before I close everything. What I like to do is um, not have this side by side. I tend to make the same layout I make with my other um, setup where I take this out of the tiling options from my pop OS by pressing uh, super G. And then I can move it around. I press alt enter on there to make it always on top and move it around. And then another trick you can do is you maximize your browser using F11, and then you unmaximize it using, uh, well, the maximize, unmaximize key of your operating system. 
I configured this as a shortcut. It's like, I think super shift M or something. Um, I don't quite remember. I have a separate button on my keyboard for this. Um, and then you have this super minimal window you can move around and put wherever you want. I like, I really like the flexibility of this. So let's uh, close this again. And let's close it and open it again. Now I only want to use Python for this example. Let's uh, first we need to create leader CI and IPython terminal. Let's leave it down here, it's fine. Uh, send some code there. And this is what we normally get, um, this fun interactive thing. And what we use for interactive stuff now on a remote server is the web AGG backend of matplotlib. Um, so let's run this code here. We set a port. We tell it to not open in the browser because if this is running on your remote server. You don't really want, the, want to open the browser there. You want to navigate to there from here. And then we tell it to use a web AGG. So let's load a data set here. So now we have the Palmer penguins in Python as well. And let's create a scatter plot. And notice nothing is happening. We didn't tell it to open a browser. So we can visit this address now. And if this would be on a remote server, you would have to forward your, uh, your port as well and then go there. And now we can see our plot here can do stuff. What I don't like, and if let me know in the comments below if you have a workaround for this. There's some, some different way because I don't do much plotting in Python. I mostly use R for the interactive stuff and the plotting and Python for bigger applications. So if you have a workaround for this, um, now because we have this running now, uh, it is blocking our Python console, right? So it, it keeps running here until we go in here, go into insert mode, press Control C to cancel it. And now we can do our next plot, for example. And this opens up the web server again. And it doesn't automatically refresh. So we need to go over here and press Control R to reload. So now we have the next plot in here. I think it works really well. Uh, the only thing that's bugging me is then that this thing stays open. So do let me know in the comments below if you have a solution for this. And then I will see you in the next uh, coffee session.